blows the whistle and we are on the way here at Bishop's Gate, Aaron O'Driscoll to A. Durvin, out to Shane Elwer, who's just inside the Longford half. He tries to tip that ball over the top to Dean Williams, who stays on side, and Dean Williams will play it back in. Oh, that is a great opportunity there for Aaron McNally, but a good save by the Derry City keeper Nathan Gartside Karen. Brilliant save from Gartside we'll get a look at it here again now Tony on the replay but Gartside in the opening game of the season here where Longford of course won, won the opening game against Derry their only win of the season Gartside was very shaky that night he was probably at fault for definitely the second goal anyway but he's uh, he's made a great save there Gartside uh, Longer serving first team member in the Longford Town team Recently joined the 100 club of That's course right. along with A. Durvin A. Durvin as well Took, uh, took Chambo a little bit longer than it did A <laughs> but Great to see them uh, to reach that, that, that landmark. Played across there by Jack Malone to uh, Cole, to Lafferty. Lafferty to McLaughlin. McLaughlin in space here. Whips that ball in there. There's Akintundi and it's Junior there. Goes over Akintundi. Junior with the header. But it must have clipped off Aaron Driscoll. It's a corner again. And McLaughlin will go across to take this. And as you said, Kieran. Signal is given by McLaughlin. Launches that towards the edge of the 18-yard box and it will go out eventually i think for a goal kick it is the, just inside the penalty area everyone else just outside the penalty area signal comes from dylan grimes to dean williams he's inside the box and he's under pressure there from akintunde and laverty just ricochets off him and goes out for a corner but a good free kick from longford town it's uh, is it junior it is junior looked like it was laverty here comes laverty doesn't get proper purchase of that and his uh, screw shot goes well wide here. To Akintunde. Plays that to Thompson who finds Junior onside as he is onside. The flag stays down. Gets a bit of Chambers to uh, Akintunde to Laverty. Laverty shoots and a goal! Danny Laverty. He scored the injury time equaliser in the cup against Strada. And he's put Derry City 1-0 up here. Good move by the visitors the yeah it's a, it's a fabulous flow of move from Derry City we'll get Junior still has possession of the ball plays it back to Thompson Thompson launches that into Lafferty with the header but straight at least by Lafferty A. Durbin will, well he scoops that ball up not what he intended but uh, Robinson gets ahead on to that and it's uh, Rob Manley inside the box and oh that was Dean close. Williams was Dean Williams waiting to tap it in yeah I'm not sure told there to the rescue Brilliant from Owen Toll, absolutely fantastic what you expect from your cap. Everything down, he's he's battled for every header, every tackle, he's been everywhere. Here comes Dylan Grimes inside the box, but surrounded by three Derry City players, and it's Kieran Cole with the clearance. And there's the half time whistle. So Derry City lead here at half time Bishop's Gate. The Candy Stripes taking the lead courtesy of uh, Danny Laverty's uh, Chris Finish to the back of the net. Great play by Junior and Akintunde. Longford Town, great start, good finish, but Derry dominated in between. Take two here as uh, Joe Thompson gets proceedings underway. Back to Jack Malone. Hold on to possession, trying to find Dean Williams in the box, but clear by the Derry defence. E. Durvin lets fly from all the 35 yards out, but always rising, Kieran. Yeah, he's just at Bishop's Gate. Yeah, that was a uh, boyce that was down. He's, he's going off, and we're going to see Bastion Heary come on here now. They're, they're a recent signing on loan from Bohemian. Lachlan running into the Longford box he's looking for options he's Jack Malone across here Jack Malone cuts inside I think it's uh, Aaron Robinson cuts inside back to Ari he tries to Oof. chip it towards the, the net but it's just gathered under going to go with two up front uh, Dean Williams going to get some support now from Aaron Dobbs Dobbs and Williams very similar players Tony they both really press the, uh, the back Ari and uh, Bastianeri plays that ball brilliantly into Akintundi in space. A. Durbin goes across to him now. Akintundi, he's still inside the box, tries to pull back and get a shot in, but just slips. And it's easily... Been in these situations so many times this season. They've tried so many different things and it just hasn't worked out for them. So um, it's, it's difficult for Dara Doyle, I suppose, to identify what he needs to do to change the momentum of the game. Because as I said, look, an example here again, there's a lot of space starting to open up at the back. Yeah, and Junior's there and it comes to McLaughlin. He plays back and Tundi's in and he took a back. Bad touch, and that was brilliant defending there from Longford Town. But Akin Tunde, poor first touch because other than that, it would a Driscoll and uh, a Durvin launches that down and it hits the back of Aaron Dobbs. And Aaron Dobbs plays it to Williams, and that man again, the skipper, a captain, fantastic job tonight from Owen Toll into Derry though, because he's really made them a lot more solid, a lot more difficult to play against. I mean, we'll come back to that in a second because Derry on the attack here again. And there we are on attack, and it's in the back of the net, and it's Junior there 
quick attack there, a uh, long ball out, and Junior just wide awake, gets onto it, gets behind the Longford Town rear guard, and just coolly slots the ball, a low crisp shot from right to left. Uh, Lee Stacey diving the wrong way, clever goal, clever finish from Junior. Yeah, Joel Manley goes out to engage Junior, and um, Junior runs off the shoulder of him. How to wear that badge and wear that famous jersey, and a great result for them here in Longford tonight. And uh, that's the full-time score there. So uh, Derry City with all three points tonight, and uh, well deserved win, Kieran. Would you yeah, think? look, there can be no arguments, Tony. They've um, had the better chances in the game. I know we've we've mentioned Owen Toll's brilliant defending, but at the end of the day, that's what he's in the team to do to defend and, and stop goals going into the net. He's done that um, part of his job well, and the players up top have taken the chances when they come. And even you look at Lafferty, he could have had a second. Uh, Akintunde could have had a goal himself. So. Derry, um, very good defensively, and they took the chances when they came. Uh, Longford, there were bright moments, particularly opening 15, 20 minutes of the game. They were probably the better side. They ended the first half well, but in the second half, just they didn't really lay a, a glove on this Derry City side. So Derry more than deserving of the three points. Well, we'll leave it there. So uh, great joy for the travelling team, Derry City. Despair for Longford Town. Full-time score here from Bishopsgate. It's finished Longford Town nil, Derry City 2.